car was soaring through the interstate yeah. Run away from the past and the nonsense Tired of Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can have the best possible flow or improve your flow for your Fortnite montages in Adobe After Effects. Before I get into it though, like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know the drill. The links to the plugins and presets will be down below in the description. I'll only have a couple of those there, so check that out. Hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys on my PC. All right guys, so once you're on your PC, the first thing you want to do is open Sony Vegas. I'm just kidding. Close that shit. If you have it on your PC, uninstall it. But for real, we're actually going to open Adobe After Effects go to new composition make sure our settings are all good go into okay and then we should just have a blank screen like this the next thing we're going to do is just go to your music folder i'm going to drag in a non-copyrighted song because you already know i'm trying to make that bank on this video we're going to go to our media pool right here drag in our song and then what we're also going to do is just find like any location on your pc that has clips saved to so for me i'm going to head on over to the folder where i got my boy plux's clips and we're just going to go to one of these clips i don't even know let's just do like a clean mongrel classic something like that shouldn't be too hard to find a decent clip you know nowadays there are a ton of clip backs that you can easily find but pretty much once we've done that we're just going to drag in our song that we're going to be using and if you're you know working on your flow i would recommend a song that has a lot of beats uh toxic ends for example has a bunch of different random beats that you could use for syncing uh, in this video i'm going to highlight how you could actually do pan crop as well as time remapping to improve your flow and that's pretty much going to be that so let's get right into to it the first thing we're gonna do is i'm just going to make sure that my after effects volume isn't too loud so i don't just kill your ears accidentally exactly that could have been very bad so i'm gonna turn it down even more so for example i'm gonna show you how to sync this part right here um so we can see right here there's the beat drop so that's fine so we'd have like a a kill on this for example and then a part about having you know good flow is syncing your transitions so uh, my main tip I showed it in my beginners thing my beginner guide that I posted two days ago uh, you always want to sync your transition to the clap after the beat so I'll quickly show you again you can hear that clap right here and that's always where we want our transition point to be so that's gonna be our first clip right there We'll shorten it down a bit. So that's going to be like two seconds in ish. Yeah, two seconds. And then we can see after this transition point, there's a beat right here. And then our kill is going to be right here. And then our clap is going to be here. And then what I normally do when I'm doing, you know, like a nice flowy montage, I always like label these things, these markers right here by right clicking on them. Um, so the kill one's always kill, the transition one's always transition, then there's always beat. I'm just going to label this one kill, and I always know the marker right after the uh, kill is transition, so I don't need to label this one necessarily. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to drag in a random clip right here. Um, I'm just going to press Control shift f If you ever have a clip that's zoomed in when you drag it into the timeline, just press Control shift f It'll save you from all your problems. We're just going to sync this one up right here. If you guys don't know, you probably should by now. Um, but you're just going to line up the pellets with the marker on the song that you're using for your beat drop. And then we're going to go to animation. And honestly, I'll show you how to do time remapping with uh, two different ways so if you're doing time remapping inside of after effects that's fine i'll show you how to do that after but if you just want to have a simple basic highlights kind of uh impact velocity what i'll show you is you can just add one of these so for example this one has doesn't have frame blending on it but if you're going to be doing a flowy montage i would recommend having something with frame blending like a twixter we can see there's that option or if you want to do like one of these slow down twixter velocities right here you can use this one so i'll line up the second last marker i'll have both of those presets in the description by the way so there's that option and that's more for like harder impacts and we'll let that do its thing render out i don't know why i have it fall on full resolution but it's whatever once we put an impact on that, it'll look 10 times better, trust me. But now that we just have that synced up, that wasn't really the main focus of this video. It's the main focus is the second clip right here. 
Um, so for me, what I'm going to do is honestly, I'm going to get one of the Joji clips because I know there's a Joji clip right here. That's a really good one for this. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, it's not this one. It is one with a harpoon. Yeah, it's this one right here. I really like doing time remapping on this clip right here just because there's so much going on and it's really easy to time remap and it's really easy to make it look like very, very, very good if you do time remap it well. Um, so we're just gonna find the part that we get the kill, which is going to be before this. So we're going to find that right here add a marker to this right here and we're actually going to put this point on the kill marker obviously because you wouldn't put a kill on the transition but it just wouldn't make sense right um so for this what we're going to do is that actually works out perfect the harpoon literally hits on beats so that's what we want um just literally trim it down to the transition marker from the first kill to the transition marker on the second kill and that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, click on the clip, press Control alt t This brings up your time remap menu in After Effects if you didn't know. We're going to add a time remap keyframe on the transition point to start. We're going to add a time remap keyframe on the beat. We're going to add one on the kill. And then we're going to add one on the transition point. What I normally do is I drag this one out. Something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I was almost there. I do about 20 frames after. We drag it like this. Select all the keyframes by clicking and holding and selecting all of them. Just press F9 on your keyboard. For me, I have a 60%. I press FN and 9 at the exact same time. We're going to go into our graph while still having these selected. And then we can see each of these points right here. These are our keyframes. So just interpolate them the way that I'm actually going to show you so for this one we're just gonna bring it up just a tiny bit bring this one up a tiny bit bring this one up a tiny bit sorry I meant on the second one bring it down a tiny bit and then this one on the kill what we're going to do is we're gonna bring this one kind of up a bit more make this one a bit more steep and then we're gonna bring this one over what this will look like yeah, that might be a bit too steep so you can always adjust it as you go on and we're gonna make this less steep you can always zoom in adjust it that's way too much still so we're just gonna make it less steep Boom. with an impact that'll look so nice um so that's pretty much that let's see i'm just gonna name this project always make sure you're saving by the way flow tutorial boom Say that there. Just like that. Perfect. And then if you guys don't know, I would also uh, mute the audio just because it sounds kind of weird if it's like sped up at some points. Um, and then you can just actually press this right here and change it so it's to this arrow option. That'll add automatic frame blending on the clip itself. And then from there, what we can do is we can literally just press control alt y add our adjustment layer that we would normally, you know, if we have like a, I don't know, like a screen pump preset, we can add something like that or we can add our impact. So for example, like if I wanted to add one of my super clean impacts, I'm just going to go to clean impact, by the way. Um, these are featured in my edit pack. I'll give one of these to you guys for free. But if you want all of them, go check out my edit pack. Link in the description. That's always good. And just like that, I mean, you got yourself a nice little impact. And there's never anything wrong with that. Um, all we are going to do now is we are going to do a little thing called pan crop. I, I don't know if you guys know how this works, but what I normally do is I normally just keyframe my scale at the very beginning and I have it at something like, I don't know, like a hundred and then I set it to like, I don't know, 105 right here. And then we have it at 100 here. And I always, you know, set these values in between the keyframes right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set these values. So like I said, always put the keyframes midway between these two points. So the transition 
Um, if it makes any more of a difference, you can see these keyframes are the ones I'm talking about. These, you wanna kind of place them midway-ish. They don't have to be exact. Um, I'm gonna highlight these keyframes right here, press F9 again, then we're gonna go into our graph. And something I always do is I always put my uh, marker on these points right here just so I have a better sense of um, where I need to actually have these slopes. So I'm gonna edit these right here. I'm gonna go in and you all, you wanna just pull this so the slope kinda goes right in line with this. So you just keep on pulling it. Um, if you want a bit of extra movement, you can bring this up a bit. That way it goes just like that. It kinda, I don't know how to explain it, but right about here is our keyframe for time remapping right here so we want to have it on beat is when um the kind of thing slopes down and that's when we have our pan crop actually zoom back out and then for here what we would do is i just have it i honestly since we don't really have a beat at the beginning i'll just have it kind of slowly pull out that didn't really look good we're not gonna have it that steep but we'll just have it kind of gradually Honestly, 100% up to you guys. You could have it slowly come in. Uh, it just depends on what you're really feeling for the montage. If the song's faster paced, if it's slower, up to you. Like I said, we're just going to leave it something like that. And you can just have it slowly go out and then boom, right there. Um, if you wanted to have, I don't know, maybe a screen pump where it goes to 120 on the kill and then it goes out here to 100. You can do that, I'll show you how to quickly do that. So we'll select these key, three keyframes, which are the main ones involved. And we would just do something like this, where we have it go like that. Bring that down a bit more. And then bring this over. And what that would do. Just have a nice little impact. Um, we can see there are lines. So we might have to add a motion tile to that. If you guys don't know how to do that. Um, you pretty much just press uh, control space. Or however you bring up your effects. You can go to your effects library over here. You add a motion tile. And you set the output height to 200. And you set the output width. I don't know why you'd want output width. Maybe you have an X shake on your impact. Let me go like this. You drag in your motion tile to your clip, and then you uh, change the output height to 200. That gets rid of your uh, problems. But um, that is pretty much that, guys. I mean, if you guys do enjoy this and you do end up using it for your montages, then like, just drop a like, man. It's 100% free. Helps me out a ton. Obviously, you would also add your impact or whatever to the first kill. You'd have your transition and then you'd kind of go from there and uh you know edit the rest of your montage but i uh, hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe it was a bit of a short tutorial um that was just me covering pan crop and time remapping i'm going to render this out and have it ready for you guys so you can see it in the intro like i said like comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later peace out